What's up everyone out there? It's your boy SETI of SETI Knows Tech and today Microsoft has released the new Xbox um, Series X or Series S depending on which one you are looking for and we have it right here. UPS man dropped it off not too long ago so we're going to do an unboxing to kind of see what's inside this bad boy and to kind of get some first impressions. I have kind of refused to watch other unboxing videos just because I wanted to see it for myself for the first time and get you know my initial impressions and get it all you know out there for you all this week has been absolute fire you know you had the you had microsoft drop the xbox one today you had apple announce the new um the new arm based macbook pros macbook air and the new um mac mini then thursday you have sony releasing the playstation 5 and on friday you got apple dropping the new um iphone 12 x uh, iphone 12 pro max so we have all that coming here on the channel. Um, so if you're not a member, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can see as soon as I upload this content um, to the channel. But first, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy. Let's get, um, let's take a look at her. But before we do any of that, you know what time it is. Cue my intro. So as you can see here, I have picked up the new Xbox um, Series X, um, the one terabyte version and so forth. I did order a new um, controller, an Elite Series 2 controller for it. This has been out for a minute, but I just wanted to get one for the Xbox, so this is not really important today. But this bad boy is, so let's go ahead and get her unboxed and take a look at her, see what it's all about. Uh, make sure I don't tear this thing up in the process. Okay, so you kind of spin it to the back. A lot of companies have been kind of doing these pull tabs to kind of make it easier to kind of for the consumer to get into the device they just picked up. So you can just so you don't have to really need to use knives and things of that nature. You can just kind of pull. Discard that to the side. Oh Lord, my knee. There we go. And it's four of these things. There's two on the bottom here and one on, on one on each side. So they come in pretty good. There we go. And the last one here. There we go. So let's just kind of flip it back over now. So we can actually take a look at There she go. So this is the main unit right here. As you can see, the main unit right here, it comes with this little sticker that says, you know, power your dreams, whatever that's supposed to mean. So don't care about that. So let's kind of push the box to the side so we can take a better look at the unit itself. Here she go. And we can kind of pull this off here. And there. It's, it's heavier than I expected it. I, you know, it's not heavy, heavy, but it's got a little weight to it. It's definitely got some weight to it. There she is, y'all. The new Xbox Series X. This thing looks amazing, actually. I love the way they kind of set this thing up with a, you know, taller. Um, form factor not as wide and so forth it makes it easier to kind of place into your you know entertainment setup and things of that nature so given the first impression i like the way i do like the way it looks i like that you know it has that nice kind of green um you know kind of airy type top to it so on the front as you can see here on the front we have the drive here so if you are going to i guess that's a drive yeah, yeah, I believe that's a drive. So if you're going to um, continue to use the disc, that's kind of where you will put things at. Um, I'm going more digital with this, so I'm going all digital. So I won't be buying any hard media anymore. Um, so that's that part. 
you have your you know, USB port here. That's your eject tool for the, for the disc here. If we kind of turn this bad boy around, you can see we have the HDMI out. You have your, your um, that's where you plug your power supply into right here. You have a storage expansion slot here. So one of the things that Microsoft has done is built in a mechanism so that you can buy expandable storage to go directly into the X, you know, your to your new Xbox. Um, these new storage um, SSDs or solid state drives are supposed to be basically the same speed and same performance as the one that's currently in, um, included in here, which is a one terabyte SSD. And they use SSDs in these generation in this generation of the Xbox so that you know, you can have faster load times and faster, you know, just access to the media and stuff that's on the drive itself. So that's a, that's going to help boost the speed of the actual overall unit itself, just because you got a faster drive internally of the disc. And then these expansion, this expansion slot, you can actually just plug in another expansion, double your memory and things of that nature. So I'll probably at some point we'll be doing that. Um, you have your network, you know, for your network here. So you can plug in if you want to go, you can either go wireless or you can go, um, you know, your network cable, you can plug it in here. You have a couple USB drives. And that's basically it. It's like, you know, you got some air filtering at the top and on the side here. But, like I said, it's not, it's not ex you know, crazy heavy, but it's got a little weight to it, which is good so that, you know, it can won't easily fall off of things and stuff like that. But it's definitely, um, it's pretty heavy and so forth. So, Let's continue. Let's look at what else is inside the box. So let's go ahead and put this to the side for a second. And let's bring the box, the main box back over. Get rid of this thing here. Do not need that. Um, it comes with a getting started guide. I never use those things anyways. If you open up the box here, it comes with, of course, the power cable that you can plug directly into the wall. So it's not a big brick. This time, this go around, they, they kind of continue to use the just kind of plug this into your Xbox and that goes into the wall. It also comes with a high speed um, HDMI cable. That's what it said in the box, how true that is, how high speed it is. Yeah, but it comes. It does come with an HDMI cable. Uh, what else we got in here? We got some literature from Microsoft, just product and regulatory, um, product and regulatory information. I never read those things either. And of course you have your controller yeah it's kind of I guess I think like your standard black controller I gotta look at I gotta go back and look at my old Xbox and controllers just to compare it to see how much um, difference it is compared to the you know that generation but this would be for my guests to use because I got my I got my Elite controller. This is what I'll be using to kick some butt with. But when my guests come over, they can have this. Well, not have they can they'll be playing on this thing while I play on my Elite controller. And in a nutshell, that is it. That's all that comes in the box. So you get the you get the gaming unit, you get the console itself, you get a high power HDMI, you get the power cable, some literature that you'll probably never read, and a controller. So it's a pretty you no know, light as far as this stuff that's in a box is pretty standard, nothing out the ordinary. Um, but just in first impressions, I'm liking it so far. So what I'm gonna do is actually go through the process of getting this all set up, get it updated, because you know there's gonna be a day one update. And since I'm going all digital, I'll be downloading some games on there. Some of the games that I'll be getting right off the bat is the new NBA um, 2K21. I'm a big NBA fan, so. That's what I like to do. On my Xbox, I tend to play more sports games. Um, a couple shooters like, you know, like Overwatch, and I probably will download um, download Fortnite. For this, my son loves Fortnite, so, you know, we'll play it on here and so forth. But I tend to play more, uh, more sports games on here. Uh, there are a couple other games I do want to pick up. Um, I think it was Watch Dog Legions. I probably want to pick that up as well for this. Uh, like I said, um, I got Overwatch, so I believe that should play on here. I have the digital copy of it, so I, I think that should work fine. Um, 
like I said, Matt, um, Matt and I'll pick up Matt before this, a lot of my sports games. So I also, and then on my PlayStation, I play all my other games, um, like my RPGs and things of that nature. So, you know, anybody that knows me knows that I love, absolutely love video games. Just like you all out there from a child, this is what I was, you know, what I was doing. So this is like my Super Bowl week for me because so many game consoles are dropping this week and we will have them all on this channel. So please subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll know exactly when I push new content up. Like I said, I was going to, um, what I will do is I will actually get this all stood up, things downloaded, hooked to the TV and all that kind of stuff. Let it kind of sink in a few days before I kind of give you my review of the actual Xbox Series X. We all know that we all know what Xbox is. You know, people that are Xbox fans, you know, just unless there's something severely wrong with these things, you're gonna love this series. It just, you know, the biggest thing is just how much of the new generation or next gen, I should say, um, capabilities will translate to various TVs and so forth. Um, I have the Samsung, um, it's a 4K TV, the curved screen um, TV, you know, so I'm gonna plug that up to that. It's a 65 inch, 70 inch, something like that's one of those, you know, TV. So I'm trying to see exactly, you know, the refresh rate and how the graphics look on there. I saw the graphics for the NBA 2K21. That was ridiculous. Oh my God, that was ridiculous. So that's gonna be the first game I pick up tonight. I'm just gonna kick off a bunch, I'm just gonna purchase a bunch of games and, you know, kick off the downloads and as they kind of download and ready for me to play, I'm just gonna start playing, so. Yep, it is here. It is that time. So remember Thursday, um, Sony drops the PlayStation 5. We'll have that here. We'll be doing an unboxing of that as well. Kind of doing some initial impressions on that. Um, on Friday, Microsoft, not Microsoft, Apple will be releasing the iPhone 12 Pro X Max. So we looked at the 12 Pro. Um, we looked at the 12 Pro on this channel earlier last week or the week before, whatever, whenever they first came out. And then, so we have the 12 Pro Max as well. We'll kind of, you know, do an unbox on that, kind of compare the two, kind of look at some, some different things on that. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, I am, I'm giddy right now. I'm, I don't know how it shows on TV right now, but yeah, I am super stoked right now. I am so ready to hook this thing up and get cracking on this thing. So uh, my son, he'll be here shortly. And he's already, he woke me up this morning telling me, hey, don't forget to pick up the Xbox. And he wants the new PlayStation 5 because he wants to play that Spider-Man game with Miles Morales. And, you know, we got that and so forth, along with a new controller. So we'll have all that on the channel as well. So that is all for this particular video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this kind of content and want to see more of it, please consider hitting that subscribe button and hit the bell icon. So like I said, you'll know when new content hits the channel. So I'm about to, I'm up out of here. I'm about to plug all this up and get it started. And in a few days, I will come back around to this device and give you my, you know, full update, what I like, what I didn't like, and things of that nature. So until next time, as always, stay geeky, stay techy. SETI 